All right, guys, welcome to the sixth ward of season 21. Kenobi is facing new nation, and yeah, this war was going to be the hardest war of the entire season. We knew, we knew that new nation was going to push really hard to beat us. Uh, they always tried uh, every season, but they didn't succeed before. Yeah, they didn't. And yeah, on the first section, on section one, I had to fight uh, this hit monkey on lane seven. Uh, I was really, really scared. I, I'm always scare, scared when facing hit monkey. Uh, and that's why I big boost because it was an important war. And also I used a three minute boost with one bar of power because I didn't want it to that fight last too long, right? So I ended that fight really easy, but I ended up boosting really, really big. And on this second fight against this man thing, rank three, on this mini boss note, I made a mistake. Yes, as you can see that dexterity buff was a really pain in the ass when I did that mistake. I was like, oh man, Pepe, what have you done? Yeah, I was, I was really, I, I was just waiting him to, to nullify that buff and convert it to poison and armor break uh, because that's one ability that man thing has okay uh, every time you block a hit or you do a parry there is a slightly chance depending on his ability or his sick on his sick level I, I i believe i'm not really sure um, but anyway there is a chance that he nullifies that buff and make poison and armor break on you and that happened right now yeah he nullified but i was really focused on that fight and when he did it i just threw my heavy to make a space uh, between him and me and yeah he threw he threw to his his special and i was lucky i was lucky also that when my concussion was on uh, the buff um, expired so he didn't gain power or he didn't have mystic dispersion it's either of those those two options okay so yeah i ended up losing a lot of hp but it was the only fight i had on this entire war for quake i ended up winning this fight i didn't lose any bonus which is good great in fact because that the war was really really close when i was doing that fight okay we were winning like two one and on exploration we were in the same exploration approx and yeah uh, at this point uh, on the section two i had to do this lane three um i had to fight this heimdall uh, as you can see what i'm trying to do on this fight is to gain a um, true strike because every time he uses special one heimdall uh, he gains true strike and when you attack him there is a 20 percent chance that when you attack him he's going to auto block you okay so if he auto blocks me um, i'm gonna the next thing i have to do is just have him or use a special to gain my, my true strike and i need it um true strike uh, for a future fight that i had on this uh, on the last mini boss i had to fight okay so my mission was to try to get true strike on this fight but i didn't i didn't i was unlucky that all the times i tried to get true strike i didn't and i was like oh man uh, how, how lucky i can be to how lucky i can be how unlucky but yeah anyway i had a fight with this mordo but i really wanted to save my invulnerability boost but uh, since i didn't get true strike on heimdall i had to do this uh, with on mordo but Yes, I made another mistake on this fight. I forgot, I didn't pay attention that when I paired with him uh, on the first time, he had limber. I didn't pay attention. So uh, I had my timing uh, as usual, but I forgot he had limber. So yeah, uh, I ended up eating a full combo besides the full combo I had <laughs> at the start of the fight. And I lost almost all my HP. I didn't die, but I almost died, right? But anyway, I got my true strike that it was the main mission that I had because I had a fight that 
can be really sketchy if I don't get true strike, especially for Corvus. And yeah, we we did it. We finished that fight without dying, which was <laughs> the the goal. Okay, and right right now I was just waiting to my friend Codec to finish that fight. He asked me if he could do that mini boss. Uh, I could do that fight uh, too, like using Corvus or Quake, but I didn't. I just didn't want to heal back uh, my HP um, because I'm a bit greedy. <laughs> I'm a cheap cunt. <laughs> and yeah, uh, he didn't have any problem. And when my other... Um, friends pl uh, killed all their lanes, uh, smashed everything. I had to do this last fight. I I got through strike because of this fight because Modo can be really really hard on this note, especially if using Corvus. You it's it's like uh, it's a must to have true strike on this fight, especially because this note is. Uh, benefits a lot the champions that uh, activates. Auto block, okay. That's why Modok is one of the best champs. Place it on this note. Anyway, once I got my SP2, it was SP2 back to back, and it was really easy. It did. I didn't have to use uh, a three minute boost. And yeah, uh, at the end, uh, at this point, we were like 11 to six. The war was already won. If, even if we had died like three times on thing, the war was won. And yeah, um, we. We didn't have any debt on my battle group, but yeah, what I didn't expect to happen, happened. Yeah, my friend Blitz, yeah, the beast, Blitz, Blitz, <laughs> he died uh, to, to think. First time ever that I saw that he died to think as boss using guillotine, okay? First time ever. Um, I think it was going. It could be. Uh, it could have be. Could have be the first war. The first zero did war that we could have, but we didn't. Uh, my friend's bleed ended up dying, and my other friend uh, Timo, he ended up killing that boss uh, with Omega Red uh, rank three. So he didn't have any problem. At the end of the day, we won. Um, we finished with seven deaths. New Nation finished with eleven, and yeah, uh, we really, we really thought <laughs> that we were going to lose this war. As I said at the start of the video, uh, yeah, uh, when I were when I went to sleep, uh, we were losing. We were uh, four to six, and they had um, the three the three bosses on all BGs were dead. And they didn't die. Uh, oh no, no, they died two times to BG One boss. But yeah, they they were winning four to six, and they had more exploration. Or I think exploration was equally. But anyway, uh, they shit the bed at the end, and in the morning they start to, to to die like crazy, like crazy, like dude, they died seven times more, and we didn't expect them to die that much. And that was like, oh, Jesus Christ, we have, we have now to not die. And yeah, we didn't die at all. We, well, we died one more time, but it didn't matter. We ended up winning this war. And yeah, congrats to all the MVPs from Kenobi and from New Nation. Congrats to all of them. It was a really, really hard war for both sides. Um, it was a good war. And, at, and it was a bad war too, because uh, both of BG2s on both alliance died like on in our alliance, BG2 died like five times and in new national alliance, their BG2 died seven times. Like they were the MVPs of this show. <laughs> anyway, guys, uh, thanks for watching. You know, if you like the video, if you enjoy it, uh, please Hit the, bot hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't and let me know how my English is going. I really think my English is, is improving a lot, a lot. I can I can clearly see now that I can now express my, my feelings, what I think a little bit uh, easier. But anyway, uh, you guys tell me in the comments and yeah, we'll see you in the next one. Take care, guys. Bye.